Hey you guys. Um, so, you guys have been asking me to um, share with you how I make some of the things that I post about. Um, and we have decided to sell our house and move. So I thought I better get on it and make some of those videos while I still have my gorgeous kitchen. Um, because although I'm very excited about this move, I am sad about the um, kitchen situation. I haven't had very long to enjoy this new kitchen. Um, so I have here five butternut squashes and a honey nut squash still left from last fall um, and summer when they were growing outside. Um, And that's actually the reason for the move. I'm gonna be doubling my space to grow things. So I'm gonna get to put in some uh, fruit and nut trees and uh, have some fun with gardening and cooking the things out of my garden. Okay, so here I have some um, barbecue sauce and some rinsed garbanzo beans or also known as chickpeas. Um, and I'm just going to heat them up over low heat, um, making sure that the garbanzos are coated in that um, barbecue sauce. If I want to add a little bit of heat, I could put a little sriracha in there. Um, or Tabasco sauce. Um, I could add more cayenne. Any number of things could be done. Um, it just kind of all depends on what barbecue sauce you're using and how you're making that happen. So you can see kind of how that looks. Now I can put this into a wrap with lettuce. Um, I could put rice and barley in there too. Um, I don't think I've tried this with avocado before, but it might be nice with some avocado wedges in there. Um, some sauteed pepper. Um, there's all kinds of things that I might add to this by the time it's on the table for dinner. Maybe you stay down there. Our dog likes to get on the counter. She, uh, she's hanging out. Hoping that I will stop paying attention, you can see her there, and that she can jump up here and enjoy some of this food herself. <laughs> Our little bratty dog there. Well, we love her though. Um, she won't be able to do that at the new place. Okay, once it's good and hot, I can add my pepper strings. This pepper was not grown in my garden. All of my pepper plants died in a freeze when my little top of greenhouse that I put over them blew away. Um, thought I had it pinned down, but the garden staples just kind of came out and the rocks that I put on it as an extra insurance weren't enough. So I'm gonna let those peppers sit there long enough that they can actually um, Get a little bit of a char on them. I'm gonna move this to the back burner. Again, I'm just putting it on low. And that way I can heat my tortilla right here. For cooking the tortillas, um, the way that my mom would have done this growing up was stick it in the microwave. Um, that gives you a nice, soft, warm tortilla for your wrap. Um, another way to do it is the way my husband likes it, uh, and I'm sure there are also other ways, but um, I put the burner on medium. I make sure I have my tongs ready, and I just put this down over 
with the flames and things will happen quickly so you kind of want to keep it moving. Um, and then I'm going to flip it over and see it does not take very long. Um, another way that you can cook your tortillas of course would be on the griddle. That would also work. Um, so whichever way is your favorite. So for my finished wrap, I've put a few of the peppers in here. I put the bean, corn, and squash mix. And then I will sprinkle a little bit of lettuce in here. Just whatever greens. And then I have a yummy wrap. Um, all I need to do is fold up the bottom, fold the sides over. And you have a yummy lunch or dinner that's going to be feeling full of Unless like me, you have a sweet tooth and you want a little dessert as well. So that's my um, butternut squash barbecue wrap.